All right, what's up guys? So real quick, yeah, who's that guy in the pink shirt? That's me. I haven't done this move in like a year, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna reteach myself this move using techniques that I plan to put in my tutorial, and I'm gonna refine them, so I'm gonna take out ideas that I don't like, and then just give you guys the best streamlined 360 to palm spin tutorial so you guys can learn that quickly. So if you guys haven't seen that tutorial, hopefully it's up on Monday, and hopefully this video is posted Wednesday. That's how I'm planning this out. So right now I'm gonna actually relearn the palm spin. It shouldn't be too bad. I've got so many ideas in my head. Let's refine it, let's do it. Okay, so here we are at the good old side of the house. Um, it rained out. A super cool parkour, breakdance, free run, ninja warrior move in, in two minutes. So I'm taking my shoes off because that's how we do things. Yeah, that's, that's nice, but it's like kind of like, yeah. Wow. All right. I see it. Oh man, don't want to break the toe. It's actually not bad at all. Wow, okay. I got this. Alright, I'm going to try to clean that up a little bit before I take it to the park and film the full tutorial, but I think it's going to be a good tutorial, but also different, because usually when I film a tutorial, like, I have the move down pretty well, but as you guys can see here, I'm just relearning it this day. Yeah, relearning it, I think, although my form won't be perfect, that'll give you guys, like, a different perspective, or, like, maybe those of you guys who are beginners and want to learn this move, maybe the steps I show you will help you better. Maybe it won't. Tch. There we go, it's better, okay. All right, so here in the car right now, on the way to go film this tutorial, trying to think of the perfect spot. I'm actually thinking about headed back to a spot where um, I did the basic wall flip, the 360 into a wall flip tutorial. But there is this one other spot that I actually Oh, I'm tempted to maybe try it out, but it's gonna waste a lot of time if it's a no-go. Uh, I don't know. Should we do it? Yeah, that looks so cool, but I feel like once we get there, you're gonna see one little car. Then you're gonna chicken out. Uh, you're gonna chicken out, I know it. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want to get kicked out of there. We'll know people there, too, so it'll be kind of weird. They'll be like, what are you doing? Because <laughs> people we know don't know what I do, exactly. You know? Just tell them who you are. Do you know who I am? Okay, we did it. So I manned up and I went to the spot. Oh man, hopefully I got everything for that tutorial. But you know what? I think that turned out pretty darn good. I think the progression line ahead for the flip should be good. You guys should have already seen that tutorial now. So if you haven't, check it out. Anyways, right now I'm headed to the gym to train. Maybe outside to trick. All right. Yo, look what Jacqueline found. It's a big boy. Whoa, oh man. Oh look, there's a little toad. I think he was gonna eat that guy. He's gonna eat that little toad. Whoa. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Gardener snake, I think. It's like a rattler, I just don't know. It bites me. It's not a rattler. I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's probably how it got so big. It's just eating all these little toads. Oh no, buddy! Don't yeah, go! Don't go that way! What, baby? <laughs> I guess it's the law of the land, though. You know, I just gotta let nature do its thing. What's it doing here? It's eating toads, getting huge. <laughs> it's its post slither shape. White? She is just intrigued. Let's get it.
Did you see that jiggle? That jiggle on that straddle plant in my legs? Did you see it? I didn't see it. No, dude. My bad. My oh bad. my gosh, I was struggling so hard. Dude, look at Jacqueline over there. She's studying hard. <laughs> She's, She's studying like, real hard. <laughs> studying so hard. <laughs> B-E-B. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, yep, I shaved. So it's a new day and um, you guys have been telling me you guys want to see more random stuff. At least one of you guys said that. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm about to do today. It's gonna be interesting. This is the man layer right here. What I'm gonna attempt to do today is build a bench, like a workbench right there. Because, you know, you gotta work in the evil layer down here. You know what I mean? Like. It's just, this is the place to do hacks and stuff. Yeah, I'm not the type of guy to like, you know, draw up a blueprint and all that. I just kind of like wing it. So, uh, I'm going above and beyond here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some measurements. So when I go buy some wood, I'm just going to try to buy the right pieces at Home Depot and have them cut it for me. So like, I don't have to deal with all, all that cutting it because honestly, I don't have any electric saws uh, with me right now. I'd have to go over to my dad's house or my father's father-in-law. Law's house honestly would just be easier for Home Depot to cut it all for me and then I could just screw it all together like really quick. Maybe I could get this done in like an hour or less. That's the to be the height, three feet, six feet? Something like that? Yeah, I like that. Three feet high, six feet long, and then two two feet up. Yeah, two feet. Wow, that's that's good enough for a hack bench. All right, here I am at the HD Home Depot. I've got everything I need up here. I hope. You gotta focus. All right, let's do this. Yo, feeling like a like a man right about now. Look at that. All right. So luckily, I'm close to home because if I do any hard stops, this is gonna go through the window or through my head. <laughs> Yo, big shout out to Dave who uh, cut these for me. Home Depot employee, thank you, man. First of all, I, I don't have the tools. Second of all, you did it quickly. <laughs> you saved me a bunch of time, even if I did have the tools. So let's go screw all this together, all right? All this wood, these nice deckmate screws, cost me $46. So buying a bench online, like if you wanna buy one, they're pretty cheap and they're crappy. You can buy the cheapest, crappiest one for around like 100 bucks. That's semi-decent, but I'm gonna build a sturdy machine for 46 bucks. That's what I'm going for, all right? So we'll see how sturdy we can build this. It'll be like twice as sturdy, I guarantee it. Hardest part's gonna be getting this to the basement. <laughs> so lazy. All right guys, here we are. Um, so I went with a bunch of two by sixes, okay? I got them cut. Like I said before, I didn't make a blueprint or anything. I didn't draw this out. I just kind of like, just kind of eyeballed it, you know? <laughs> so I have an image in my head of what this is gonna look like. And it's, you know, it's, it's all right. It's gonna do the trick. So um, hopefully these things stay flush enough because I'm actually building the top, just straight up these together like this. Ooh, this one's split right there. Maybe I'll just, ugh, great. Okay, you know what, just start screwing. Start screwing this together. You wanna pre-drill the holes or you're gonna split the wood? Ain't got time for that. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't split. Man, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. All right, let's give a little rundown here. It's gonna be a solid freaking top. Sit on that thing. It's so heavy. Oh, that means it's sturdy. One or the other way. Dang it. All right, there it is, folks. Look at that. See, that way when we're working, we can do things at eye level, right here. You know what I mean? All right, that's why, that's why I made it this high. Now, actually, it's gonna be, it's a great height for standing up. See, you wanna stand up in my face. Oh, man. 
Man. This table's broken. It's a nice little table. Alright guys, it's totally done. Honestly, the hardest part of this whole uh, process wasn't even building the bench. Honestly, that was the easy part. The hardest part has been actually cleaning this room out, but check it out. Here it is now, my evil man bat layer. So, I've got the bench right here, um, and then back over here, I've got, I guess, this this old black table you guys have probably seen before. Maybe I'll get some shelves or something, because it's my tool table right now, but yeah, that's not really convenient. To have shells would be easier storage. Yo, big shout out to my dad for uh, hooking me up with these awesome freaking hand-me-down tools. These things are super nice. Thank you, man. Also, big shout out to my father-in-law, Todd, for lighting it well in here. Like, he put these new lights in, he did the wiring. So, it used to be like one dim, gringy light, but now it's like two nice, kind of natural lights. It's just, it's a lot more cool. It's a lot more, you know, like, you can see a lot better. That bench only took like 30 minutes to build once I had all the materials. Getting the materials, 30 minutes. So like an hour to fully complete. Cleaning up down here took like two and a half, three hours. It was ridiculous. But I just kind of threw everything in the garage. So I'm going to have to clean the garage up. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, hopefully it was entertaining. I know we went from the beginning of this video, me um, basically learning a flip on the side of the house to me building a bench, but it's a vlog. This is what I did these last two days. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, let me know if you wanna see more random stuff like these vlogs. Also, I could uh, do more, I'm gonna do more stupid hacks and stuff. So stay tuned for those. You know, that's basically why we built the bench. <laughs> I've got more videos coming for you guys, so stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace. You all have a good one. I'll see you all in the next video.